There's absolutely no mistaking this grill. This is Italian. This has racing heritage. This is the new Alfa Romeo Tonale. It is a compact SUV and it is less expensive than the Giulia, which is their sedan, and the Stelvio, which is the larger SUV. This is the Misano blue color and I love it. It really pops. And then we get these unique headlamps. Again, unmistakably Alfa Romeo. We have the V Scudetto grill. Pardon my Italian. I am not gonna get the Italian words right today because I'm not Italian. But just unmistakably Alfa Romeo. These wheels are amazing. You will not see wheels like this on any other car on the road. This is the Veloce trim. This is the top trim. These are 20 inch five hole wheels and I love them. You will not see these types of wheels on any other car on the road. Alfa Romeo does amazing, unique Italian wheels and I love it. I also love the Italian uh, flag here on the mirror caps and this is the plug-in hybrid. So I think this is so interesting. In Canada, you can also get a less expensive turbo gas version and this is the plug-in hybrid. In the US, there is only the Tonale plug-in hybrid. Gets about 50 kilometers in pure electric range, which is I think somewhere 30 something miles. And it's got a couple different drive modes. We're gonna talk about all that, but I think that's really interesting. Why does Canada get a gas only and a PHEV and the US only gets the PHEV? However, both countries get all wheel drive as standard. So the Tonale is only in all wheel drive. I love this back end with the big light bar and again with these three round lights here. There is an Italian word for that, but again, my Italian is just not on point. So gorgeous Tonale badging, cool Alfa Romeo logo, and as I mentioned, the light bar. And then we have our brake light up here. And as you can see, I have the US spec press car. Um, but I don't think anything is really different on the PHEV from US to Canada and the interior is all digital so you can change it from miles to kilometers to from Fahrenheit to Celsius which we were able to change pretty easily actually. We have a good size um, rear cargo hold area. We even have a pass through and underneath here we have a little more extra storage which of course where you would store your um, charging cord but I've been plugging it uh, in at home overnight every night on my level one standard household plug and i think this is cool we've got a electrified alfa romeo serpent on the back left window we get a leather interior and these seats are really comfortable and i have lots of room i'm five foot one we also have a nice flat floor and usb and usb-c with vents here which is great and then we get a nice big center console with two cup holders and our pass-through, which we can open from here and open it opens into the to the back. And then of course we have two latch infant car seat systems here. Uh, one thing I will note is I would like a, a bigger sunroof at this price point and a little less plastic. There is quite a bit of plastic back here. All right, this is the key. It's quite big, I find, like it's, it's quite bulky in my hand, but regardless, that's the key. We have a beautiful leather steering wheel, flat bottom, very sporty. I love that Alfa Romeo puts their start stop button on the steering wheel. They do that in all their models and it does take some getting used to because that is not where you're typically going to find a start stop button. Paddle shifters, massive, very sporty because they're mounted on the steering column and not on the steering wheel. That is incredibly sporty and that is an Alfa Romeo thing or a racing thing, I guess. Um, totally digital screen and I discovered this while I was looking for the windshield wipers, but when you tap this button on the end of this stock here, you can change the view really easily and I love that. I think it's really cool. We have our battery life right here. It's currently full at 50 kilometers and a very clear screen here, digital image of the car. And I've driven this on the highway. I used the adaptive cruise and it worked really well. And it shows cars around you and in front of you on that center uh, screen there. And then uh, volume controls, music controls, and our adaptive cruise control over here. Then we move over to a media touch screen that is a good size. I believe it's a 12 point, no, I believe this one's a 10.5 inch screen 
wireless Apple CarPlay, which has been very responsive. We have heated and ventilated seats in here. We have navigation and we have vehicle settings. This, this dash is, um, this is lit up by ambient, ambient lighting and you can customize it within this screen as well. This whole dash is leather, leather. It's very clean. It's very beautiful. It's much more premium feeling up here than in the back seat, I feel like. And then we get hard touch climate buttons, which I really like, and a wireless charging pad with the Alfa Romeo uh, logo right on the charging pad. I think that's quite uh, pretty. And then we have our drive modes over here. DNA, which is in all um, Alfa Romeo models. D stands for dynamic, N is for natural, and A is for advanced efficiency. So making the most of this hybrid. And then this button in the middle, I believe, is what gets you that extra um, sport mode where you press in both paddle shifters at the same time, and you will get a little extra horsepower for a short period of time, just like in the Dodge Hornet I was in not too long ago. A really nice leather gear shift knob. It is, it feels good. It's really typical forward and back. And this backup camera is fantastic. We have a 360 camera and a very cl clear backup camera. Um, I really appreciate that always. So great backup camera. All right, this Tonale is a 1.3 liter turbo hybrid. So the electric motors on the back gets 285 horsepower and 347 pound-feet of torque. That's a zero to 60 miles an hour in about six seconds or zero to 100 kilometers an hour in about 6.2 seconds. And uh, it's been really fun to drive. I drove this all the way to Seattle and uh, the adaptive cruise was fantastic. It's very comfortable, it's peppy, and compact SUVs are pretty, pretty well my favorite category and this one does not disappoint for a luxury compact SUV. I will say it's not as luxury as, let's say, some of the Mercedes I've been in, but it is uh, a heck of a lot more luxury than other um, compact SUVs I've been in recently as well. So PHEV, I love plug-in hybrids for their pure electric range. I love performance SUVs for their fun to drive factor. And this one is like the perfect size. The Tonale is named after an Italian mountain pass. And yes, this is built in Italy. So what do you think? We're starting around 52,000 Canadian and that is after rebates. That is the pricing they've put out is after rebates, both federal and provincial. In the US, this starts around 45,000. And uh, this top trim, the Veloce, and it has some options, the sunroof, it has the active driver assist features, um, the color is an additional option. So this one will set you back around 60,000 Canadian dollars after rebates. And I say around because I, this is the US spec, the US press car, and I had to build it on the Alfa Romeo Canadian site. So I think I got it right around 60,000 Canadian after rebate and about 57,000 US dollars. Um, luxury, performance, PHEV, so some efficiency there. It's fun to drive. It's very peppy. I've really enjoyed my time with it. I love the looks and the design of an Alfa Romeo. What do you think? Leave me a question or a comment.